Two goals from Jesse Lingard gave us a magical, memorable win over Liverpool at the City Ground to get our season back on track after three consecutive defeats. And today is Aston Villa away in, is it a Midlands derby? I'm not too sure. Let me know, uh, Villa fans, Forest fans, do you class this as a derby? I imagine you don't. Bit of Midlands rivalry anyway. We need to try and pick up points away from home. Let's go. Okay, so the team is, we're going to make a few changes, you know. We're actually going to change Nia Carty's wide centre-back role. And we're just going to bring it back down to a wide, I tell you what, we're going to go stopper because he's a bit aggressive. Okay, at Nia Carty, he likes getting tight, he loves putting pressure on. So we're going to go with Nia Carty there. Worrell has had a bit of a stinker on that right-hand side. So we're going to go with McKenna, who is a left footer, but his passing is reasonable with his right foot. So we're going to go with that. Um, I think we've got Omar Richards back. We have, but... Toffolo was brilliant against um, Liverpool, so we're going to keep him in. Dennis, I'm not too keen on. He has not made a good start up there. We've barely seen him. He's got an average rating of 6.3. He's not great, is he? We've not been able to utilise that pace that he's got of 18. So we are going to change it, and we're going to go back to Lyle Taylor to lead the line. So we're looking at Henderson, Kiati, Niakate, McKenna, Williams, Toffolo, Freuler, Mangala, Lingard, Awonyi, and Taylor, we are 10th in the division. Aston Villa are 13th. A win for them today will take them above us. All right, let's go and see how we do at Villa Park. Okay, so Villa will line up with a 4-2-3-1. Bailey, Coutinho and Buendia in behind Danny Ings. We've got Lingard, who seems to have come back into a little bit of form. A one year looks good. We just need to solve this advanced forward role. Let me know out of the three, a one year Taylor, and um, Dennis, which one of the three would you be playing at the moment? Not in real life, but in FM. You've all seen a couple of the players perform over the last few weeks. Do we keep Lyle Taylor back? I've started him today. He has done really good as, a, as an impact substitute. Emmanuel Dennis may be better suited to when we play with a 3-4-3, three, three, when we play with two wide players as well. OK, continue on the ball. Ashley Young down this right-hand side for Villa. They've scored within 30 minutes. First highlight... Punched out. Was it Henderson that could only parry it out into the middle of the box? And Buendia smashes in. Really disappointing again from us. Defensively, we're nowhere near. Remember, at the start of the season, we looked so good defensively. Henderson just parrying it into the path of Buendia. And we're 1-0 down already. We have had shots on goal, though. It says three. So we've had some efforts on goal. We haven't had that recently, especially in the opening parts of the games. We need to be a little bit more creative. I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. How do we get to be more dominant? Do we dare be more dominant? Dominant? We are Nottingham Forest. Danny Ings has scored. It's 2-0. Bloody hell. Our away day blues are continuing. So, I'm not changing the three at the back. That stays. Wing back stays. I think the overall shape stays the same because of what we've got. And especially him as well. What Steve Cooper has built. He's got two pretty much for every position now, hasn't he? But we can change a few of how we play. Do we try and be more dominant? Do we be really defensive? As Lyle Taylor works this right hand channel. Are we going to get back into it? Williams. So one year's there. It's just clipped the bar and gone over. I may do three versions of this tactic, you know. Have a this standard, this standard version, and then have a attacking version. Look, that's really poor. Attacking version where we're really going for it high line, aggressive, maybe playing a little bit quicker, a little bit more direct, and then maybe have a, a really defensive one as well, where we're just looking at staying in games, hanging on, slowing play down, etc. So I think that's something I will definitely put in for tomorrow's episode. Right, barely on this left hand side. It's a little bit damage limitation. He's just gone all the way through. It's a good block. Kamara, Buendia, we've won it. Are we breaking? A one year to Jesse Lingard. To Lyle Taylor, he hasn't got the pace, but he finds Toffolo out wide. Toffolo going to dig out a cross. I think he will. He's... Just put it in the box, mate. Dear me. Near Carte. We've gone long. We've got it down. It's a bit rushed. Lyle Taylor is in. That's a brilliant save from Martinez. But Lyle Taylor should have scored. He only seems to score when he's on the bench. As Kamara heads away the corner. A little bit better. We've had eight shots on goal, boys. We've been dominated possession-wise. As it's coming up to half-time. Four shots. Two on target for Aston Villa. And two goals. So, we are going to go attacking. This is, might be what we might do with the more cutthroat side. 
where we're going to go to. Well, let's put him on a complete wing back on support. Let's get Williams a complete wing back on attack. Attacking. And then we're going to go. Let's get that line. Where's that line? We're on a standard line at the moment. Let's get it nice and compact right up there. See how we're getting on this second half. See if that helps. We're just getting the game a little bit more in terms of possession. 65% possession in the first half for Aston Villa. Right, Henderson. Pass it short. Why is he doing that? Let me know why is he doing it. Why is he going so quickly? I'm pretty sure I've asked him to slow it down. Slow the place down. Is it because I've got roll it out on? And because he's not been able to roll it because it's a back pass? So do I change it to short kicks? Will that suit the match engine? Will that suit the AI? Because we've lost the ball. Didn't you? Carlos. Can we win it? Can we win it? No. Didn't you? I think we are going to win it. Oh, just put a tackle in. They're desperate to give us the ball, boys. Martinez. Conza. Why can't my goalkeeper do that? Kamara. It goes long. We should win that. It's three against one. We do. Mangala. Williams. Lovely play from Williams down this right-hand side. He's good at crossing the ball. We've got bodies in the middle. People that like to head it. Lyle Taylor loves to head it. He has scored his third of the season. We're back in this football match. Good play. I'm happy with that. Still direct. Ball's in the box. That's what we want. And we've got ourselves deservedly back in the game. Let's give a little bit of a praise. Lyle Taylor is struggling. He's absolutely dead. So we are going to go Brennan Johnson. And you know what? We're just going to change the midfield over as well. Let's get Morgan Gibbs White on, and we're going to ask him. I tell you what, if we put him this side, we'll put him as a central midfielder on attack, and see if he can get beyond the one knee that way. And then we're going to go with another midfielder. Let's just go with O'Brien in there as well, just to break things up. Little change. Twenty minutes to go. We can't encourage it. Ashley Young with a throwing. Can we get the ball back, boys? Coutinho finds Buendia in this channel. Douglas Louise, we're going to break it. Lingard, get there, Brennan Johnson. He wants it in his feet. One year's picked it up, though. Brennan Johnson, he's got the pace. What's he got for me? He's hold up, holding it up. He's found Lingard with a run, and Jesse Lingard has missed a massive chance. A massive chance to equalise. Let's encourage. Last few minutes, we make some more. Let's get, where's Surridge? Super sub. And let's get Emmanuel Dennis on as well. Ten minutes at least to go. As Lingard heads it out for his last little bit of action. Gerard is asking his team to calm down. Can we force the ball into the back of the net? Toffolo goes long. Why are we throwing? Why are they throwing balls like that? Little things I'm picking up in the match engine at the moment. Dear me. Just shit. Why on earth is he doing that? It feels like because the match engine isn't great, it's an easy way and they've fucking scored from it. I'm sorry, let's see, right, stop, stop, stop. Why? We've got a four, a literally a 5v2 overload in it. Why is he not just putting it back there? And once again, I don't think it's his decision making. This isn't a defensive thing. We spoke about it in yesterday's video. It's not his, you know, his decisions are 13. So his divisions are, decisions are okay to good. But that is absolutely bollocks. It's like football manager decides to turn the possession over for the sake of it. And it's just so unrealistic. And just because of that, we're now out of the game. 3-1. And we could have quite easily got a draw out of this. Augustinson. Williams goes long. Gilbert. It could be four here. And we don't deserve four. Coutinho Nicate heads off the line. We got a little bit lucky. Right, Augustinson again down this left hand side. We need the game. We need full time whistle, boys, don't we? We need the full time whistle. McGinn. Coutinho. Ramsey. It's blocked. It's put in. Augustinson puts it into an empty net. It is Aston Villa 4. Nottingham Forest 1. We've not really deserved that. Six on target, and they've scored from five, and they have created really good chances, to be fair. An XG of 2.23 compared to our 1.32. We improved slightly on possession, but I'm not having that throw-in at all. 
you're in training tomorrow, boys, because we need to be better. We need to be better. And I think it is a big one tomorrow in terms of six pointers. Bournemouth at home tomorrow morning's episode. It needs to be a win. They've picked up a little bit. They find themselves in 15th. Big game at the City Square City Ground. Hopefully you will join me for it. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 a.m. See you later. <laughs>